Meanwhile, the U.S. economy has slowed down for two subsequent quarters. However, what is interesting is that the job market seems to be in a recovery mode. And according to a new report, the United States has added 500,000 jobs in just the month of July, which has now taken the job market to pre-pandemic levels. The unemployment rate in the United States dipped to about 3.5% in the month of July, and overall, the data suggests that the job market is far stronger than expected by the economists. The growth in the job sector is essentially driven by leisure, hospitality, healthcare, and other such sectors. The Biden also touted the new data and has argued for the U.S. economy's stability. Today, we received another outstanding jobs report. 528,000 jobs were added just last month to this country's employment. 528,000 jobs. We have now nearly doubled what we we're at almost at 10 million jobs. Almost at 10 million jobs since I took office. That's the fastest job growth in history. Today, we also matched the lowest unemployment rate in America in the last 50 years. 3.5 percent. Yes. 3.5 percent. Today, there are more people working in America than before the pandemic began. In fact, there are more people working in America than any point in American history. You know, what we're also seeing is something that uh, just a few years ago, many experts said was literally impossible. The revitalization of American manufacturing. Now, the data has now triggered fears of inflationary pressures and analysts now predict that the news is likely to spur the Federal Reserve's determination to hike interest rates further. The markets slumped following the data report on rate hike fears with the Wall Street closing way lower. And Standard & Poor 500 shed over six points ending at about 4,145.17 points while Nasdaq shed about 60 points closing in the red at about 12,657. Pretty mild reaction to today's job report, which was, I think, a lot higher than most people were expecting. But I think the reality is, is that's a lagging indicator that reflected a period before a lot of layoff announcements had been made. And I think when the, when we see the next month's data, we're going to see the drop in employment, or maybe not a negative number, but a much lower add uh, that will be more reflective of what's happening in the in the real world. Meanwhile, the employment data had its effects on other sectors as well. The U.S. dollar rallied, reaching its biggest daily percentage gain since the middle of June against the yen. However, gold prices extended their losses and dipped more than 1%. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.